If you grew up watching the unaltered theatrical version of the original trilogy, you're probably used to Boba Fett sounding like this. As you wish. He's no good to me dead. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. However, if you grew up watching the special edition re-releases, you may be more familiar with Boba Fett sounding like this. As you wish. He's no good to me dead. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. Now, the first clip that I played, the original clip, Boba Fett was voiced by an American actor named Jason Wingreen. In the second clip, Boba Fett was voiced by Tamora Morrison, who, if you didn't know, was also the actor who played Jango Fett. George Lucas likely made this change due to the fact that he wanted to tie in his vision from the prequels into the original trilogy, and in a lot of ways, it seems to make sense considering the fact that, you know, Boba Fett is Jango's son, and he is an exact clone of Jango, so you would think that it makes sense that Boba would sound the exact same, but again, I'm going to defend the unaltered original trilogy to the end and actually kind of go against the grain here and say that it actually doesn't make sense canonically. The original Boba Fett voice, voiced by Jason Wingreen, actually makes a little bit more sense. Allow me to explain. Now, while Tamora Morrison did voice Jango Fett and all of the other clones in the prequel trilogy, from what we know, Boba Fett was separated from Jango and the rest of the clones at a very young age. Going back and actually watching the Clone Wars, and watching Boba Fett's arc unfold a little bit more as he's a child, we come to realize that he was actually, for the most part, kind of raised by bounty hunters, and kind of did his own thing. Now from what we know about real world accents and how people's voices develop, it mainly has to do with where they live, right? It doesn't really matter what parents you're born to, as long as you grow up in a certain region, you're gonna probably sound like the people in that region. Now while you might think that it makes sense for Boba and Jango to sound the same, considering the fact that the actor who played Boba Fett as a boy, Daniel Logan, is of New Zealand nationality, which is the same as Tamora Morrison, right, it doesn't really affect someone's voice later in life, right? Boba Fett was separated from Jango and the rest of the clones when he was 10 years old. And after that, he was pretty much just kind of raised by whoever, but he wasn't actually raised by Jango or any clones. So it doesn't make sense that he would develop the same accent because, right, from what we know, he would have been about 35 and the events of Empire Strikes Back. And 25 years is certainly enough time to develop a completely different accent, especially when those 25 years happen from when you were a kid right because kids are especially easy to mold in terms of their accent and the accent you have as a kid is probably not going to stick later on in life if you move somewhere completely different so this video pretty much goes out to all the people saying that the Timora Morrison version of Boba Fett is the canonically correct one right like i understand why George Lucas wanted to do it George Lucas wanted the prequels and the originals to kind of coincide with each other because the prequels and the originals were George Lucas's vision from the beginning. And it makes sense why he wants to draw in those connections, but frankly, it's not actually consistent. It doesn't make sense scientifically, and I know this is kind of a nerdy rant, this is very specific and nitpicky, and this isn't meant to be a slight at Tamora Morrison in any way. I think his Boba Fett voice is crisp, it's amazing. He was a perfect cast for Jango Fett, and if he would have been cast as Boba Fett, he would have been perfect as well. I mean, he plays Jango Fett perfectly. I think his voice sounds great as Boba Fett, but it just doesn't make sense. You know, let me know what you think of the video. Do you agree with me? Do you think the original version makes more sense, or would you rather go with the Morrison version? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, guys, peace.